Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Market Review, the QQQs. Interesting day in the market. Guess what? Market's higher. Hmm, who's been saying that for quite some time? Everyone that is on my email list got an email that I sent out. It was in December. It was somewhere around the holidays that I sent this email out. Actually, I think it was like December 26th. I think it was the day after Christmas that I actually sent the email out to my entire database. And I wrote a very long email, which I never ever take the time to do, where I definitively called the market higher for 2015. And so I'm sure that everyone is surprised the market's doing this today, but me, I'm not surprised at all. Why? I even talked about this yesterday in the trading room when the market was falling and dropping and running red yesterday. After the fall through from Friday, I even talked about the fact the market was still higher, even still. So, first of all, long-range call for the market for 2015 is that it is higher. And I detailed this out in a letter for everyone that is on my email list for 2015. Now, if you are not on my email list and you want to be on it, you can email me. You can email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Okay? Now, for today, you know, <laughs> I love that I... I love that I figured this stuff out so good. I mean, I just love it. This is very challenging to read yesterday. If you don't have conviction, if you don't have conviction, and if you don't know what to look at, you think, and I couldn't fault you for doing so, that the market is lower, okay? Market ran up here and made a new high for the temporary time breeze, not all-time highs, but this is back like 11-28-2014 in the QQQs. High was 106.25. Could have got over this before the end of the year. We tried. We did not. Ran out of momentum here in the December month. But this was a new high for the year, 2014. Okay, that was the high of the year of the market in the QQQs. Then this happened here. Market pulled in. Market did some bearish gaps. It actually did bearish gaps, okay? If you know my system, you could have rated the gaps. Would I have shorted these? No, did I know, okay? Market came in here and broke, held immediately gapped up. Nice gap up here. At this point, the market could have continued to fall through and made new highs before the end of the year. It was 1218, did not do it. Then we made a lower high. Then we made a lower low. Then we made a lower high. This was on Friday, first week of the trading week of the year, full week on January 9th. And the market also triggered on a daily sell set up here. One penny on the previous bar is low, 102.11, 102.02 counts, counts, and the market triggered, really actually triggered on Friday. But then it followed through on Monday, the 12th here, boom. And the market ran red yesterday. And when the market was running red yesterday, I said in the morning, this is really not going to recover now here today. I said, I don't know where exactly where we closed today. Target was 101. We didn't get there. Almost. And then I got up this morning, I saw this. And I said, oh, <laughs> and I saw it. And I said, you could have gone on the market today. Didn't know exactly where it set up, but as it turns out, the market set up immediately. And you could have aggressively gone on the market with a tight stop and a huge risk to road train. And I don't know where it closed today. And quite frankly, it does not matter. The play today is long in the market. Market is power trending up all morning, and it is a gorgeous chart. And I saw it in the pre-market. In the pre-market, I said, oh! And when I saw it, I wrote in the room, I said, wow, 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 lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, fabulous, perfect, as soon as I saw it. And actually, I saw it even way, way before even the open. Like, I don't remember what time I saw it, like 8.30 or 8 o'clock. I don't even know. And look at the market. Look. Mm, there it is. So you could have gone long the market today at 9.31 with a tight, 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 tight stop. And you could have gotten out of some of it here into the 10 o'clock reversal time. And then you could still be in it. Targets 104. 103.65 was one of the numbers. So we could, oh, no. Look at that. I said 103.60, 103.65. Look, we did get to the real first target. But we could go to 104. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I can't make these numbers up if I tried. This is perfect, but it's still holding. Uh, anyways, the reality is that 
most likely follow through here green today and then also could follow through tomorrow. I see. I don't know if we gap up. I, there's almost like actually, quite frankly, nothing that the market could do not to be bullish tomorrow now after today. I, 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 whether we, we get down tomorrow, the market's probably along tomorrow. So the big thing, I had a big discussion. It was yesterday because I know everyone was like sitting here looking. I keep talking about how the market's higher and I just wrote that big email. And then yesterday we fell and did all the series of lower highs and lower lows and then fell, triggered on the sell side. But, I, you know, I did a lecture in the room yesterday and I didn't tape it. And I said, listen, I know that the institutional money and the buying is still in there. I know it's there. I feel it. I know. How do I know? From the gaps. Okay. From the quality of the gaps in both directions, by the way. And that's how I know. And so, you know, you never be surprised when you see the institution stepping right in, in the correct directional bias, which I know it's there. I feel it's there. I know it's there. I see it's there. I, it is there. It is real. And that's why every time something like this happens today, I'm never surprised. I love it. A smile lights on my face. My face lights up when I see the market do something so astounding, so amazing, so beautiful like it just did today. Shorts had to get stopped out here that just took new entries in the market yesterday. And yet, okay, not all the shorts have given up on this. There was some selling that occurred yesterday. Today is buying and a few shorts being stopped out, but not everyone. And I did say this before and detailed it. It's going to be like the end of the summer, the beginning of the fall. It's going to be like the fall, late in the year, 2015, till the shorts just flat out are halted, stopped, and give it up, where they stop shorting this market, I think it's extended. This market is not extended. I've said this for months, but it's not, and it's still not, and it's really not, and it's definitely not, and it is not. The market is higher, higher for 2015, and everyone kept saying it was going to come in and crash. People are short this market still, even now, even after today. I have 100% conviction the market's higher this year. It is bullish. Every time I see something like this today, it confirms what I already know. You need to know how to read charts and directional bias and how to play intraday and long term. And specifically, that has to do with the long term chart. The market is bullish. And if you don't know how to read this, how will you learn? You will learn by taking my Golden Gap class and learning how to read charts. The only way to correctly and definitively know what something's going to do before it does it and in the lifetime moment is reading institutional positioning because that's all that ever moves anything that exists in the market. It is serious money. It is power money. And you must know how to read it to be successful for the rest of your life if you really want to do this. It is possible. I am doing it. And I am teaching people how to do it. And in a way, it is so amazing, so outstanding that a girl like me can make calls like this that turn out to be true all over the place every day I trade. It is because I know how to read gaps. It is because I have a 26-point rating system that determines how to read an institutional position in a chart. Boom, that's it. If you are basing your directional bias or your trend trading on pivots or pivots, our moving averages, our indicators, our da 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 da. You are back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you have no conviction. You have negative conviction. You are losing conviction. You're buying this market. You're shorting this market. You're killing your longs. You're, then you're shorting it. Then you're doing this, and then you're doing that. You don't know what to do, and all of a sudden, you have negative conviction in anything, and you don't even believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, how are you going to make money taking risk in the market? How are you ever going to make any real money taking risk in the market if you don't know what you're doing and you don't believe in yourself, and you don't have conviction and a strategy that works? The great thing about what I figured out is that it works works for every single time frame and the higher time frame too. And I'm taking entries on the intraday one minute chart. You could have gone long at 9.31 in the market this morning, even though it is in an uptrend on the daily chart. You could have taken a one minute entry in the market this morning to go long. This is a beautiful call. This is a great, great call. And I talk about it so often now. It's like I could do a video every day. I could do a video every day in the market if anybody would want to even watch them anymore. But I'm just feel like I had to do this today because I did just give this lecture in the room yesterday, even though the market was running red. It, it had no real meaning. Again, it doesn't even have anything to do with the color of the bodies. Oh gosh, if I could only, it's the gaps. What I know is so amazing. It is like gold. It is gold. What I figured out is gold. The 26-point rating system that I figured out in the market is gold. It is gold. And that is why it is called the golden gap because this is like gold, people. Gold. And this is a golden call I made for the market higher this year. It is just gorgeous. 
So I don't see any way, any way at all that we don't follow through bullishly in the market tomorrow. And it's just a matter of where we gap. And I don't even think it matters because it would be such low odds that we gap anywhere tomorrow that we would fall. So you could just be in the market still. Very, very late to take a new trade in this. I'd wait for 15 minutes to pull back. Trying to, trying to, trying to hold. You really should have been long this already. But we could get up to 104 today. I won't be surprised about anything we did, but we did get up to the target that I said. I said 103.65. For all the people that are in the room, they know that that was the target. And you could have done it. So great call by the Stock Swoosh LLC, which is me, Melissa Armo. And a great call here for the market long today. Probably most likely long tomorrow, no matter how we got tomorrow morning. And the market is gorgeous and beautiful. And we'll take a look at it tomorrow. But it's definitely high for 2015. Got to know how to read charts. And the only way is through gaps. Because it's the only thing that gives you a consistent read of the institutional positioning that is happening in the market. That gives you where the real money is. You have to know how to read that. If you don't. You will be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, having conviction, losing it, negative conviction. All of a sudden, you're losing money. You don't even want to trade anymore, and you give up. And why? There's no reason to. There is a possibility and potential for people to make money in the market. The one nice thing is, though, that a lot of people don't know what to do and will never change what they know because they truly, truly believe that the things that they're doing with these shorting, these things, like people are shorting this market. It's like people really actually believe this is the right thing to do. But it's not. And they will be stopped out if they're not stopped out already. If you'd like more information on the Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. The next class is January 24th and 25th. If you would like more information, email me. If you would like to sign up and pre-register, it is earnings season started this week. It starts slowly and starts to get really, really busy towards the end of into the end of January, then into February, then it runs into March. If you want to learn how to trade and trade for first quarter earnings season and really learn this year early, early on, because I said this in the email too, this year 2015 is going to be one of the years you want to day trade. It's actually going to be one of these years where you are going to regret if you don't day trade. And if you do day trade now, you don't know what to do. You're going to regret actually not knowing what to do. Because it could potentially be a huge year if you know how to trade the market this year because the volatility and momentum is going to exist if you know how to trade it. And it's going to be a big losing year for some people that won't get off and continue to do some of the same things that aren't going to work this year because they're not, because of what the market is doing and how it's setting up. And I'm seeing all of this. I'm seeing it all. And I detailed some of it in the letter. Most of it I talk about in the trading room. The people are with me. People that trade with me, the people that are there every day in the trading room with me, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the people that have taken the Golden Gap class have the best, highest, greatest chances of opportunity to be alongside me because of the way that I trade, the way that I read things, the way I call the market, the way I see stocks, and the way that I can predict what somebody's going to do before it does it in a lifetime because of the fact that I'm great at reading price action. And why am I good at that? Because I know how to read caps. Beautiful call. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like more information. I am doing a webinar tomorrow, January 14th at 4.30 Eastern Time. You can go to my Facebook page if you'd like to get the information to sign up for that or email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day, everyone. Have a fantastic afternoon.